Hi guys. I look like a crack dad. You know what I'm saying? But my hair is crazy right now because I've had it in a bun all day. I've literally been working on my new house for like 10, 12 hours a day. Painting and doing all types of work to the house. So I don't have time for literally anything right now. So here's the deal. Tomorrow morning I have a job interview and it is for like a professional-ish place. I don't know if they allow colored hair or tattoos. So I'm going to be covering my tattoos and I am going to have blonde hair for tomorrow. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Literally probably for hours. I need blonde hair by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And it is currently 7.47 at night. So I need blonde hair in about 12 hours. <laughs> so I've washed my hair six times total. I washed it three times yesterday in the shower and then I washed it three times the day before yesterday in the shower with dandruff shampoo trying to strip out as much color as possible. This side is getting streaky and this side you can see is fading. There's like some patchy spots. So what we're going to be doing today is some vitamin C treatments. I'm going to be doing the baking soda 10 volume dish soap dandruff shampoo concoction. Also, I'm going to start with vitamin C treatment to try and strip out as much color as possible before I resort to using developer and the baking soda. So that's what we're going to be doing on my hair. And if necessary, I will be doing a bleach bath and bleaching my hair. Rest in peace because last time I did this, my hair was falling out. So that's what we're doing tonight also we're going to do her hair while we're at it she's spending the night so she's spending the night so i asked her if she wanted to do her hair with me since she's going to change her hair i was like might as well just do like a hair night and just do our hair together so she's going to be doing the baking soda and 10 volume method because i think it'll work really well on her hair because she just has purple and pink in there so i think it'll work really well on her hair i'm going to go ahead and mix up my vitamin c treatment and we're going to mix up her baking soda method for the vitamin C treatment, it is just blended up or crushed up vitamin C tablets with dandruff shampoo and I add dish soap into mine. For her concoction, it is baking soda, dish soap, dandruff shampoo, purple shampoo, and 10 volume developer. We're not going to be using purple shampoo in her concoction, we're just going to be using the other ingredients. So we're going to mix those up and then we'll be back to you once we have everything mixed. Alright, so here's mine. The vitamin C method. Here's my and that's the baking soda in 10 volume. So I just sprayed my hair with some water and she sprayed hers with some water. We're gonna go ahead and just slather this on our head, put a shower cap on, and then leave it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on I'll watch her hair to see if it's lifting, <coughs> and then we'll rinse her hair when it has lightened enough. Mine I'll probably just leave on 45 minutes because it doesn't actually lighten the hair. So we're going to start applying this. We're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes to an hour. Mine will probably be an hour. Hers will probably be 30 minutes. We'll come back to you guys after we get done with round one of removing this color out of my hair. Wish us luck. Sorry I look like a crack dad. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back. I just did the vitamin C treatment. I just rinsed it out. I didn't shampoo it or anything. I didn't brush it. I didn't use conditioner. I just rinsed it out. That's why my hair looks like a matted mess right now is because I just rinsed it out with hot water. So now I'm going to do the baking soda method. The vitamin C treatment definitely faded it a little bit. If I pull out my hair, you can see right here, I have like a band of blonde right there and my ends are pretty light. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Ok 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 30 minutes to an hour and I will come back to you guys once I have it rinsed out. So I did that treatment twice. I rinsed it out the first time and it was green and it was a lot more purple and a lot more pink than this. And I went to record it to show you guys and tell you I was gonna do it again and my card was full. So we're back, I did it a second time, left it on the same amount and everything. And this is how it looks. My hair is now the Joker on this side. It's green and purple. And on this side, it is literally orange, white, and pink. Now we're left with our last resort, which is a bleach bath. And my hair is probably gonna fall out, but that's okay, because you know what? You only live once, and I got interview at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and it is now what time? 1120? Yes. Exactly? Yes. What? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and fry my hair and it's probably gonna fall out, but that's okay. We've been there before. So I'm just going to go in with my Blonde Me bleach that I always use to bleach my roots. And I'm just gonna use 10 volume developer because I'm just trying to take out this color. Okay, so here's just the bleach mixed up. I'm going to be adding purple shampoo to try and counteract some of the green and to tone my hair while it's doing the bleach bath. I'm just gonna add this in here. Okay, so here is the bleach bath. I'm not gonna add any water because my hair is pretty wet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my hair and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna start with this side obviously because this side is way worse and this side's like white so I don't want to put it on the damaged spot first. So we're just gonna go in on this side and hope it removes the green. Doubtful. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Everything looks pretty good. The pink is almost completely out of my hair. I just have a little bit back here, but it is coming out very quickly and it is like a pale yellowy blonde. This side is also good. The purple is completely out of my ends right now and it is like a pale yellow color, but up here is still kind of green. It's starting to come out actually. It's more of like a yellow now, Yeah. but it, it is still a little bit green. So I'm just gonna leave this in maybe five more minutes. It's only been in five minutes, you would say. Yeah. It's not even a very strong like concoction of stuff and it's working really, really well. So I kind of wish I would have done this the second time instead of doing the baking soda thing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on maybe five more minutes and I will come back to you guys once I have it rinsed out. I'm probably gonna have to tone it. I have Wella T18 to tone it with. So I'll come back to you guys once I have this rinsed out and it's damp so I can go ahead and tone it. Then we're gonna be done. I'm done with the process. If the toner doesn't do anything or my hair is still green and I'm gonna put toner on it anyway, I don't care. I'm back. So this side is like very yellowy and kind of greeny. Like it, it's more yellow, but it has that undertone compared to this side. You can see the difference, I think. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> Okay, so Wella T18, and I'm gonna fill this up with 10 volume. It's a one to two ratio, so I'm going to do one of these with 10 volume and then one of these with 20 volume, so it'll be like an in-between, it'll be like 15 volume. Okay, so I got the toner mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this side, and once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and move over to this side. Okay guys, so I got this all applied. It's burning like a thousand fire ants. I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to leave it on that long. I honestly don't know if I can handle it. Then I'm going to rinse it out. I will come back to you guys tomorrow once I have makeup on and my hair is dried so you can see the final result. And I will show you guys Abby's hair tomorrow also once her hair is dry and everything. So I will see you guys tomorrow to show you what everything looks like. Wish me luck, bye. Hi guys, so we're back. It's the next day. This is how my hair turned out. This side is like a perfect white 
And then underneath here is still a little bit green. It's like a greeny blonde up by my roots. So I'm just gonna keep using purple shampoo and just let it come out naturally. It turned out really good for the most part. My hair looks kind of crazy because I had it up in like a ponytail. So it looks kind of crazy right now. But it turned out pretty good from what I had before to this overnight. My hair's damaged obviously, but it's fine. I'm gonna take down your hair and chill. Dude, I'm gonna get so many hate comments about your hair because it looks crazy right now. <laughs> it looks fried. It really does. Wait, why? No, it looks like that because like your ends, oh, you had in a bun, it was out. like slicked back to here and then all your ends were like in a bun. So it looks like your ends are fried. Okay, so this is how her hair turned out. It is like 101 different colors. She's got some green, she's got some blue, purple, pink, blonde. She's got all the colors up in that bitch. Some orange right there. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fix her hair it and did take make out, it blonde. It did take out a lot of it. Yeah, though. it definitely did take out a lot of her color, but I mean, it's obviously 100 different colors and patchy now, which is fine, because we'll fix it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye. <laughs> I hit the whoa. <laughs>